And really there's a sense of complementarianism or mutuality, if you will, or recipro reci reciprocity. Ooh, I got it. Reciprocity. I wasn't even sure I could say that word. There's, there, that is built into our created order. And one way to think of that is imagine a world where it was just all men. Like even you men don't want that. Imagine a world in which, a world in which it was all women. So it's not, God's not indicating that you have to get married to be complete. But what, here's what he is saying. He is saying that the creation without both men and women the creation is incomplete. And that the crowning achievement of the created order in Genesis chapters 1 and 2 was the creation of women. And that's not patronizing to say that. I mean, it's a theological statement that God realized that this creation is not done until he creates Eve. And that's why wherever Christianity has gone, this is your first blank, Women have been elevated wherever the Christian faith has gone. So in the Roman world, there was a principle called patria potesta, which meant that the man had life and death authority over his wife or wives and his children. It was the Christian religion that ended that social structure. In Greece and Rome, it was very common for men and women to take their baby girls and abandon them in the woods, a form of abortion. It was the Christian faith that ended that. In the Hellenistic world, the Greco-Roman world, women were not offered an education. In fact, uh, when you read about the schools of Plato or Socrates or Aristotle, they're always men, only men. It was the Christian faith that changed that. We were the ones who offered universal education. You read about widows and unmarried, they're called virgins sometimes, but unmarried women. It was the Christian church that adopted so many of those unmarried women and those widows that they eventually founded religious orders in order to care for all of them, the thousands upon thousands of them. We call them convents today. And in exchange, those women offered fabulous service to the kingdom of God. It was because of the Christian faith that the foot binding practices, deplorable practices against girls in China were finally ended. That widow burning in India was brought to an end. That the abhorrent practice of working little girls in sweatshops in England were ended. The idea of human rights that we inherited from the Christian faith brought about things like the women's suffrage movement, women's rights movements, the temperance movement. All of these were bequeathed to us as God's gift to humanity when God taught us that women are the pinnacle of God's creation. Hey, I'm John. And I'm Abby, and we are the hosts of Boulevard Online. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you will, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up by hitting the subscribe button right down here, right now. If you'd like to watch the full message that this clip is from, click right here. Or if you want to watch another video, click right down here. Hey, thanks for being with us. Until next time, be blessed. And don't forget to be a blessing.